Hey everyone, it's Dylan. We're back again for another week here in the shop. Uh, before we start this video, the water-cooled table plans are now out. So we have two water-cooled tables set up in our pour room. We actually already have one guy who's trying to build his own, so he's waiting for these plans to come out. We'll put a link down in the description. Go check those out. Uh, this week, you're going to see how we actually put LEDs on our tables that we make. Uh, Joe again is in the background making kind of faces at me. Um, so you're going to see how we put our LEDs on. And uh, the trestle base. We're doing another solid wood trestle base. So you're going to see how that gets to go together. All right. So there was a lot of comments on last week's video kind of regarding the whole ceiling versus not ceiling edges thing. So I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit more in depth here. Um, a lot of you guys brought up that you watch other YouTubers who seal the edges on their pores and the thing that, th that they do is they scuff the edge uh, prior to pouring their second casting pour. And you guys were telling us that, that that will help improve the bond. And you guys are completely right, that does help improve the bond, but we've tried that too. And like this table here, uh, it has a sealed edge, we scuffed the edge, and we also removed the bark, because I know that's something you guys said, it only happened because we didn't remove the bark. But the bark's off, it's sealed, it's scuffed, and look at that, I can stick my fingernail right in at the bottom. It started to separate right apart. So, you know, we're not trying to knock anyone who does seal their edges. We're not trying to say that that's, um, that they're a bad uh, epoxy table maker or anything. This is just what we found in our experience, and the only way that we'll build the table and stand behind it is if we don't seal the edges. Cam and Adam are here again from New Technology, and they're actually getting ready to rig up another one of our tables. This is gonna be an L-shaped desk going down to Colorado. Um, so we're going to put LEDs all along this back side of the river. Uh, we got the controllers going in and it, it should look pretty slick. This is one of the most kind of complicated desks that we've actually done before. desks go together. I don't know about you guys, but I think it looks pretty amazing. Um, also, let us know what your favorite color was on the LEDs. I personally kind of like that sort of tur turquoisey color in there. That's my favorite. Let us know what you guys like. Um, you will notice, though, it's not together anymore, and that is because the legs that we put on this, they actually didn't work in making it stable. Um, they went on the end, and they only came to about here, so it made the whole desk want to tip forward. So we ordered new legs for our client. They go all the way to the end. Um, it's a little bit of a delay, but we'd probably rather just make this perfect than send our client something that's not gonna be perfect. And then next up what we're doing, we've got that big bastone walnut table that we're working on. We poured that a few weeks ago. Uh, we're doing the trestle base now. So Spencer and Joe are gonna glue it all up, then we gotta oil it, and then hopefully we'll get it put together this week. <laughs> it doesn't
here that we're doing, this is actually the one that you just saw Spencer and Joe uh, working on gluing up and finishing. It's going with, I think the table's right over there, it's a big bath stone walnut one. Uh, very similar to the, the look of JB's table, uh, but just a little bit smaller, I think. Straight. Another little trick, take your drill bit, find the depth that you want to go to and throw a piece of tape on and then you know how far to drill in. I put the block on, clamped it down, lined it up. We put our pilot holes in. So that's gonna allow all four of these holes to line up perfectly with those four holes. And then the other, the final sort of piece of this, once we get this all lined up, is this metal top plate. So what this top plate is used for is we put screws, we're using, if I can reach them, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're using these screws here, um, so those are going to be able to go right through the plate and then if we look at the length, they're actually long enough to go into that bottom piece of the trestle there, as you guys can kind of see. So that screw is what's going to hold all three of these pieces together. And then these slots here, once we have this on, that doesn't look very good, um, anyway once we have this on, we put this screw up like this, and that's actually going to attach into the table. It won't be this long. No. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we're not going to go through the table. Um, but this, that doesn't line up. Try it. Mm. But now it's kind of crooked too, right? No. And then you, you can't do it. Uh. Uh. See the other ones? Try this. Okay, minor difficulty. Hold on, you guys. That one don't work. Yeah, try that one. But then this won't match the holes underneath. No, well, let's see if the plate lines up even though. No. Yeah, you're out. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, okay, we we're kind of scared this is gonna happen. Uh, this, our drill press wasn't really working properly when we went to drill out these blocks and that means we had to drill them by hand so they're not 100% accurate in the same spot which means they actually don't match our plates. Um, I guess we need to make new blocks. We have to make all of them. Yeah. All of them. So, okay. Literally all eight of these blocks no, the bottom ones no, will be good. No, bottom ones are fine. Okay, so it's matter. just the four. four top blocks where it actually matters if it lines up with the steel plate. We now have to go remake all of these. So we really wanted to show you guys this base put together, but I guess that'll be next week. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, the L desk with the LEDs. We didn't really get to put the trestle base together because um, the blocks were a little messed up, but we're fixing those. Uh, reminder again, the water cool plans, those are out. Uh, it would mean a lot if you guys can get those and support us. Um, you know, most of the money that we make from our YouTube, like the ad revenue and that, it all just goes directly back into the channel, trying to spend more time on videos for you guys. So that kind of stuff really helps us out. And we may have a bonus video next week going out to that Jerry, the guy who cut up those burls for us. We bought some more wood from him. So stay tuned for that. See ya.